In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do floor time remarks in DaVinci Resolve. And at the end of the video, I'll show you guys a secret AI tool that I use to make super smooth time remarks. This video not only applies to floor, but it also applies to people who want to make jug edits, basic TikTok edits, and even those trendy car edits. So let's say you want your time remarks to start from here and end at the marker right here. We're going to go to the marker here, open our clip infusion, and we're going to hit shift spacebar. From there, you're going to type in time stretcher. I have it right here. Add it to your notary, and then it's going to automatically add a keyframe on the source time. You want to go to your first frame and add a keyframe. Okay, so we're going to go to the second keyframe here and we're going to put our source time to where we want the clip to end let's say about here what the time stretcher node is basically doing is that it's stretching the clip from here down to this keyframe and it starts from here if you did it the right way the other half of the clip should be frozen like this and on the left side it should be playing from there you can open your spline graphs okay in your spline panel you're going to hit time stretcher one right here click in the open space hit ctrl a s and you can hit f to make the graph bigger okay so from here we're going to make a simple graph you want to hold ctrl and grab this handle so it's much easier to control and put it up there then you're going to go on your next one and this time you can hold alt to move it to this position we're also going to give it some slack because if you don't give the graph slack it's going to look a bit weird so yeah and the movement should look like that really nice and simple if you want the movement to be less aggressive we are going to do this grab this handle and just take it up slightly grab the other one and take it down slightly you can even join them together just like that and then you're going to have something as gentle as this which also works next graph we're going to make is the next graph grab this handle hold control bring it down just like that grab this other handle and bring it up just like that make sure the center isn't completely flat bring this down a bit because it's going to make a weird movement so it speeds up slows down and then speeds off we also have another graph like this same one we did before but it's just the opposite direction and it should look like this when you're done with all of that you can even cut off the last half of the movement because this is what you only really need you might have also noticed that the footage looks a bit warpy or a bit choppy so to fix that we're going to use a node called an optical flow so drag a time stretcher node to the far end click on the media in one shift space bar and grab an optical flow node right here so from here you're going to go to your time stretcher node one and then you're going to click flow from there you're going to click clamp edges and then you're going to click the two boxes down here when you do all of that the movement should look extremely smooth. Let's say you want to make multiple time maps in one clip. This is what we're going to do. You're going to add your markers, of course. And then you're going to go into the fusion panel, add your time stretcher node, go into your spline graph, go to the far end, add your keyframe, go to your next marker, add a keyframe, next marker, add a keyframe, and finally the last one. Come out of your spline graph, go to your first marker right here, and then scroll to where you want the movement to start. So let's say we want that movement right there. Go to your next one. Make sure you memorize the number that was there before. You want to go above 15 here. So you come up like that then go to your next one then you're going to go in your next one bring it up just like that okay so here we have this graph so here's how we're going to navigate this you're going to press the middle mouse button move around you're going to use control plus scroll to zoom in we're going to use the graphs that we used before you grab this handle just like that and bring this one down just like that same thing for this one do the same thing for this one but we're going to bring it down just like this yeah so when you're done you should have something that looks like this you don't have to use the exact graphs i'm using and the exact amount of markers i'm using you can switch it up with other graphs that we discussed later this is really helpful for people who want to do jug in davinci resolve and if you want to do jug uh soup made a really good video on how to do jug edits in davinci resolve i'll link his video down in the description okay let's say you don't have a clip that's long enough to reach the marker you've put in here's where this ai tool comes into play this tool is called floor frames and we're going to use it to stretch that clip beyond the marker right here we're going to get this clip then of course you're going to export the clip at avi and compress just like that and you can install the ai2 from the discord server super nice started i'll link it in the description when you open flow frames you want to go to interpolation browse video and then grab your clip after that click on browse folder and choose the folder where you want your clip to go after that go to output fps and speed and change the fps to 300 fps i got this trick from cloud i'll link the video down below where he made a video explaining this okay so from there you want to click interpolate when your video is done interpolating in flow frames grab the clip and you notice that it has fully extended so delete the clip below bring this down go to your marker go into fusion time stretcher right there to add a keyframe go to the first frame and then here we just want the movement to just fully end so we're going to use the exact amount of frames i like going a frame i like leaving one frame out so we'll do 125 there we go and then we'll open the spline panel again right there we we'll use uh, this graph then we're going to add our optical flow node go back to your timeline cut the remainder of the clip out go back when you start rendering it's going to look exactly like this and you don't lose any quality it's really smooth and i would recommend doing this to all of your clips it's really helpful but i personally don't do it because i don't see the use of doing it over and over again unless the clip is really short but yeah guys that is exactly how you do timing maps in the adventure resolve this video applies to any type of timing mapping you want to do all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one